you how to punch this adorable bunny rabbit just in time for Easter. He's so cute. Let's get started. So first we need to choose our foundation cloth. This is Monk's cloth, 100% cotton. Next we have primary rug backing, which is 100% polyester. Both have a nice stretch, which you want, so that it stretches tightly onto your hoop or snap frame or whatever kind of frame you're going to have. A hoop is a great cheap way to start and see if you like the craft. And they're easily found in any craft store. Let's put some monk's cloth and an embroidery hoop so you can see how it is done. I'm going to speed this video up a little, but you can get the general idea. You want the fabric to be nice and tight, so go around, tighten it a little more, and then pull one more time. Make sure you've got it as tight as you can possibly get it. Next, let's put some primary rug backing on a snap frame. Simply lay your fabric on top and each little PVC plastic piece just snaps into place. Some of them are pretty tight, which is good because it holds the fabric in place. So you're going to have to push pretty hard, but once you get them all on there, simply twist away from the center and there you go. Now we can practice punching with our punch needle. Here's the adjustable punch needle. Use whichever one you have. I'm using a worsted weight yarn here on level C. That's your height of your loop on the reverse. It's a good mid-range loop to start with. Keep your lines nice and straight. Don't punch too many punches too close to each other. Keep a little bit of a gap. And trim your ends. So once you've got the basic idea of punching down, simply trace your design with a sharpie or any permanent marker onto your fabric and start punching. You really want to work from the outside of a shape, like the outside of this flower, and work your way in. And always check your work, make sure you're not getting your punches too clustered in the front, or they will start to make like a little mountain. You want to give a little bit of a gap. Now you can see I'm finishing filling in the flower and I'm going to work my way around to other shapes and colors on the piece. Now this is called your working side and the side on the front, the opposite side of this, where the loops are, is the side you generally will show for display, but really you can do whichever one you want. Reverse your image before you punch if you're going to display the other side. A little trick to remember is when you're moving from one punch to the next, try not to lift your needle too high. You want it to just gently graze over the fabric and onto the next punch. The farther you get in your punching, the more the piece will really start to come together and look how you actually want it to. Sometimes it can be a little iffy and look weird at first until you've got all your punches in there. Now if I was displaying this side, I would do my punches a little more filled in so you don't see gaps, but I plan on displaying the loopy side on the reverse, so it's not a big deal here. And I don't want to overly punch either. So now my punching is done of my bunny and I'm turning my piece over. I've taken the yarn out of my needle and I'm using the needle point to help me kind of rearrange and clean up all these loops. Sometimes they can get a little mixed in with each other, especially in tight spots like this. As you can see, simply taking a few minutes to rearrange them makes a huge difference in your final piece to really clean up those lines. And it's looking so cute. So now that your bunny rabbit is all punched, you just need to do the background. 